How's it going lads and lasses? It's getting to be Halloween here just in a couple of months and we've got our new Droid Factory figure coming from the Disney Parks. This one is R7 FNG or R7 Fang because this one's themed after vampires. So let's take a closer look at that articulation. Alright, so the Droid Factory figures have standard articulation. You know, you got the head swivel, you've got the legs kicking forward and back all the way 360. You have pivoting feet. You got rotating wheels so that you can just kind of zoom around with ease. But of course the cool thing about Droid Factory figures is you can take them apart and customize them. Alright, so before I go into my thoughts on this figure, I want to show off one last feature for this. And for that I'm going to have to turn off the lights. The head glows in the dark, so that's pretty cool. That's kind of in line with a couple of the other Halloween Droid Factory figures. Alright, so what are my thoughts on this year's Halloween Droid Factory figure? Well, as you can tell by how I've recently themed this channel, I love things like vampires and werewolves. I never grew out of my goth phase. I'm a bit more of a werewolf guy, but I still like vampires. So I'm pretty happy with the theme they chose to go with for this figure. I think it looks cool. It's got a nice paint app. I really like how they've stepped up the paint apps for these more recent Droid Factory figures. You know, it started with last year's Halloween one with the witch-themed one. That one had some really nice paint apps, and it looks like they're continuing that. You know, you have the little fangs there, which I thought was a nice touch. And this is the perfect droid model to theme after a vampire because the visor looks like Dracula's Widow's Peak there. It was a good choice to go with, and I'm pretty happy with it. I do have one issue though, and it's one of those things where I wouldn't have the issue if they didn't present it to me themselves, if that makes sense. And that's because alongside this, they also released a four pack of the original four Droid Factory Halloween figures. The difference being that two of them come with like this little bat hat. That hat would have been perfect for this damn vampire droid. Why didn't they include it with this? It's not like it's exclusive to one of the droids in that pack because there's two of them in there. So they could have thrown it in with this droid. It fits the theme perfectly, more so than any of the droids in that four pack. I don't really want to get the four pack because I already have those four droids. It'd be weird to just get it for the hat. The only way I can justify it is I have some friends who don't have those figures and I can just give, I can just give those to them. But we'll see. I don't know. So that's my one gripe. I wish it came with that hat. Uh, other than that, I'm happy with this one. It looks really cool. I like that it glows in the dark. And I just think that the paint apps are really nice. So if you want to pick one up for yourself, your best bet is going to be the Shop Disney store on their, their website. Um, that's where I got mine, of course. I don't know if the listings are still up or if they're sold out. I'm going to go ahead and if I can find those links, I'll link them in the description below for both this figure and that four pack. If you, maybe this is your first Droid Factory Halloween figure and you want to get the other ones too. It's a good deal. It's about 40 bucks for all four of them. So that's $10 for each, you know, plus shipping. If you can't get it there, if it's sold out there, you can look on eBay. I like to warn against scalping. I hate scalping as I'm sure a lot of us do. Basically, a figure has to have been out for years for me to sort of break down and go for a scalper price. And by scalper price, I mean something that's at least like twice as much as the figure. Any amount more than the figure's actually worth does irritate me, but there's a certain amount that I will kind of tolerate depending on the figure and how hard it is to actually come by. For something like this with this Droid Factory figure, they retail for about $15. I would say if you're gonna go on eBay, somewhere between that and maybe $25. That's if you're getting free shipping. Definitely don't pay $25 if they're also gonna charge you for shipping. Don't pay a cent more than $25. 25 is like, I can't find it for $20 or, or less. 25 is like the absolute max and you're just desperate to get the figure. But again, I would advise to try not to go the scalping route. Your only other option is to actually pick this up in a store. You can usually find this in any Disney stores. If, if you happen to live near one, there's not very many, but if you happen to live near one, you can probably pick one up there. Um, of course, at the parks. 
So at Disneyland, they'll have this in downtown Disney, which is the free part. There's the Disney store there, and they should have a little wall somewhere in the back that'll have a few rows of these. They might have the four-pack, too. I'm not sure. Um, when I went in 2019, there weren't any four-packs like that. So um, all I saw was that was the skeleton one. That's all I saw while I was there. You'll also be able to find it in the gift shop when you exit Star Tours. That's where the build the Droid Factory kiosk lives. So that's where you'd be able to build your own. Um, they should be somewhere in that store at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. I don't know if you'll be able to find it at Galaxy's Edge. I didn't see it there when I went in 2019. But I wouldn't doubt it if it, you'll be able to find it somewhere. I just didn't look for it there because I already had it at that point. I don't know what the downtown Disney equivalent would be for Walt Disney World, but whatever's the free part of Walt Disney World where there'll, there'll be like a Disney store or just a store that sells Star Wars action figures and merchandise like that, you'll be able to find it there. I think there might even be a store in the free part of Walt Disney World that has a Droid Factory kiosk, so if you can find a store like that, that would be the place to look. Um, but those are your options. Uh, I recommend this figure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time.